Welcome to the video. So I've reviewed a lot of Chromebooks and I know finding the right one and avoiding buying a dud isn't always straightforward. So in this video, I'll give you a simple set of steps to follow. Many will apply to laptop buying too. If you've already got a Chromebook, please do stick around and let me know in the comments which step you think is the most important. This video is kindly sponsored by Tobin One. More on them and their docs I've been using with my Chromebooks later on. So firstly, SenseCheck, is Chrome OS right for you? Think about the software you need, if it's accessed through your browser or available via compatible Android apps from the Google Play Store, then a Chromebook could be perfect for you. For those who want to dabble a little bit more, you also have the Linux terminal available in Chrome OS to install Linux packages. Next up, form factor. Chromebooks come in many shapes and sizes, like the traditional clamshell Chromebook I'm showing you here. These may or may not have a touch display, so also think about how important that is to you. You'll also find many convertible Chromebooks. These two-in-one devices have a display that folds back 360 degrees against the body of the Chromebook, letting you use it like a tablet and in a number of in-between modes. The tablet experience in Chrome OS tablet mode is not as refined as Android, so it's worth keeping in mind how critical this is to your Chromebook selection. You'll also find some detachable Chromebooks, basically a tablet with a removable keyboard. They're ultra portable, lightweight, but obviously that smaller size isn't always as convenient or as productive as a larger clamshell or convertible Chromebook. Thirdly, size matters, so ranging from 10 inch detachable devices up to 17 inch clamshell Chromebooks, Think about the size, both in terms of the display, but also the likely weight of the Chromebook if you plan to travel with it. Larger Chromebooks also tend to benefit from a better spaced keyboard deck, including things like number pads, so if you're a number cruncher, it's worth considering. If in doubt, a 14 inch display Chromebook is likely a safe bet, as it's one of, if not the most popular laptop and Chromebook size. Next up, you'll want to focus on the display options. As well as the mentioned size, there are a few more things to think about. So there's the aspect ratio. So many newer Chromebooks are moving away from the 16 by 9 aspect ratio to the slightly taller 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which many find better for productivity. Display resolution is another element of the display to think about. So as a minimum these days, on a 16 by 9 display, look for full HD, so that's 1920 by 1080, rather than just HD, or on a 16 by 10 display, look for full HD plus, or it may be called WUXGA, around 1920 by 1200. The final display element I'd recommend you consider is its type. So TN panels won't look as good, they're going to be more washed out with their colours and have worse viewing angles. Look instead for an IPS display, or if you're in the know with a bigger budget, you may find a few examples with OLED displays, certainly like the current king of Chromebooks, the Lenovo Chromebook Plus 14. And don't forget about your external displays either. That's where this video's sponsor, Tobin One, come in. Those of you subscribed to the channel will know I've been using their docking stations with my Chromebooks for a while now. Just recently, they've sent me one of their newest docks that I've been trying out. It's got a metal outer housing with plastic for the front and rear connectivity, which there's a lot of. There's HDMI as well as DisplayPort connectivity, plus a decent number of USB-A ports and two USB-C ports for power and Data. There's also card reader slots for both full size and micro SD cards. I've been running my dual full HD monitors as extended displays with the Chromebooks display as a third and to be honest that's barely stretching what this dock can do. So if you've got a Mac or a Windows machine it can actually support up to four monitors in 4K. For the amount of connectivity it offers I particularly like the small footprint this one has, not taking up much room on the desk. I'll put the model number and links in the description and pinned comment of this video if you want to check them out. Thanks again to Tobin One for sponsoring this video, for now back to the Chromebook buying guide. Number five, check out the keyboard deck. I'm bundling a few related things together here, but have a good look at the keyboard deck. What do reviews show you with regards to the typing experience and touchpad? Is there an optional backlit keyboard? And if so, does that matter to you? See if the speakers are up on top of the keyboard deck too, rather than being underneath the Chromebook. Up on top will almost always make for a better audio experience. Take a look around the sides at the ports and connectivity as well to see if it meets your needs. 
I always like to see dual USB-C. Having a port on either side of the Chromebook makes life so much easier when it comes to charging and your desk set up in general. Next, check the key internals, the processor, RAM and storage. As you're expected to access most things via the web, storage isn't always as important on a Chromebook as it may be on a more traditional PC. In 2025, going into 2026 though, I'd look for 128 gig as a minimum. You'll find lower end Chromebooks using eMMC, which is still fast enough for general browsing, and universal flash storage and other SSD options on the higher end models. For RAM, please do all you can to get a Chromebook with eight gig of RAM as a minimum, avoiding four gig unless you're really just looking for the most basic Chromebook. 8 gig of RAM in a Chromebook will give it much more headroom over a 4 gig of RAM model, and there isn't always the difference in price you may expect. Most importantly, if you take nothing else from this guide, just googling the name of the processor plus release date will give you the most information about the Chromebook or Chromebook Plus model you're considering. I've covered several entry-level Chromebooks that have been released this year, 2025, but feature the Intel Celeron N4500 processor from 2021 and unfortunately these are being pushed hard already in the UK for Black Friday 2025. An older processor not only means less capable performance but it will also mean the Chromebook will have a shorter life left when it comes to receiving Chrome OS updates. I've got a cheat sheet posted to the channel's X, Threads and Blue Sky profiles that I try to keep up to date so please do check that out. In 2025 as we head into 2026 at a minimum for a Chromebook for general use I'd be looking for one with the Intel N100 processor. That means it'll get decent everyday performance and have Chrome OS updates lasting all the way through to June 2033. At number seven now, just consider a Chromebook Plus. So if you see a Chromebook branded Chromebook Plus, it'll mean it will meet a minimum hardware level that'll offer decent performance and it will also come with some software exclusives. If you have time, it's worth being more informed here. I'll link you to a video in the top right explaining more about Chromebook Plus. We're almost at the penultimate point now, so thank you so much if you're still here. Hopefully it means the video's worth a like, so please do click on that thumbs up. Thank you so much. So next, don't rule out a refurb. So refurbished Chromebooks from reputable sellers are, in my opinion, one of the best ways to get value for money when buying a Chromebook. They are often like new, especially if you buy an excellent refurbished or certified refurbished model, we may see it referred to as grade A. You can see lots of examples of unboxings and reviews of refurbished Chromebooks on the channel. I'll link you in the top right now to a playlist that you can check out. And finally, number nine, make the most of deals when they can really offer value. So feel free to follow the channel on its various socials where I post a lot of mainly UK Chromebook deals. You can find them in the Linktree link in the pinned comment of this video. I've also got my referral links there for things like cashback sites. So if you're in the UK and want to save even more with your online shopping, definitely check those out. Check out the Chromebook video on the right of your screen to watch next. Or if you're watching as the video goes live in the build up to Black Friday 2025, definitely check out the video on the left of your screen now because you might be able to claim cash back on your new Chromebook up to £30 or £100 on a Chromebook Plus model. Cheers.